You ain't gonna come round here with a sad vibe, man. Just pack up your bags and go. We was up, we was up all night, right with a function set. When I turn my back, you froze, froze. What's going on, people? We're gonna jump straight into this one. So first, you wanna come and open a fusion composition and drag that onto a 1080p timeline. And once you've done that, simply come to the fusion page. Once you've purchased Super Chrome, you're going to get a file which you download and this is where we open up the Fuse, the Super Chrome Final Comp. And this is where you're going to see uh, the effects panel um, and everything that's used to build this uh, cool chrome effect that we have going on here. And it's super detailed. First we're going to come to the Plasma and this is where we can really change the inside of the chrome. How the chrome works, the, the styling, how big and large you want the scaling of the uh, sort of the thermal effect going in. The operation mode where you can change uh, the blending modes, this will give you different outcomes. There's really uh, lots of different ways to handle this um, and I've made it so you have full autonomy over the chrome style and it just gives you that individuality, that uniqueness to change everything and basically tailor the chrome look to uh, exactly your specifications. So try that out, there's lots of different ways. The default one looks really cool as well but uh, I like giving you guys the option to really uh, switch everything up. Then you can come to the main where you can adjust all the size, color and tracking the line spacing, all of the stuff that you would um, uh, use to change the text. You can enter any text you want and also change the font. Bear in mind that to change the font, you have to change on both of these tabs here. So on the main, you change your font and then on the second one, you also change your font uh, and that way they directly sync up. Then you can come to the thermal and this is where we can really dive into the thermal colors and, and sort of adjust to our liking. I mean, uh, here you can change the black into something a bit more vibrant, a bit more crazy, or just change the individual thermal streets where you can really get that unique look. I've opted for the uh, the standard gold as a default, but uh, you can change this. You can really change it to anything you'd like, um, and you can come up with uh, an, sort of an endless amount of combinations, really. After the thermal, you've actually got a main color tab, which is sort of a, just a color correction over the whole thing. So if you didn't want to uh, adjust the individual streaks and thermal or mess around with that, you do have the option to change the hue, the saturation, the contrast, gain, lift, gamma, and brightness, and also just use the wheel, um, the color wheel to, you know, dial in something uh, a little bit more specific. Um, that kind of sits overall, so bear in mind that will affect the thermal streaks. As you can see here, you can kind of make it a little bit more two-tone, that sort of a uh, very traditional chromatic style, or just come back to the original. Um, once again, a million different possibilities that you can come up with, um, so do adjust all of those and have fun playing around with that. You've also got aperture diffraction. I suggest coming into the settings and just messing around with the blend um, as I've dialed in the, the controls to sort of get a real nice median spot. But if you want, you can also adjust all the individual controls on the aperture diffraction. Then on the Filmlet Creator, I've only used the Filmlet Creator for the gate weaves. You can come down um, and you can still adjust all the individual settings, but I'd use this just for the gate weave. And this is just for the, uh, the sort of the wiggle. It gives the text, the up and down. It gives that little subtle detail. Um, you can enable that and you can also turn that off. Once you've come out the fusion page, compound your clip and I suggest making a text bin um, and, and naming the, uh, the compound the, the word and then you can drag the compound into your text. You can then come over to your 4K timeline, drag that in um, and you've got that nice crisp 4K look. Um, here's just me changing the settings. So you can come down, add timeline settings and just change to um, uh, the 4k resolution of your choice when you want to change the text you just come back to your fusion which is in your text compound you can then adjust the text accordingly um, change that to whatever you like um, and then it will update automatically in the 4k timeline and that's pretty much it guys that's super chrome for davinci resolve i've been working on this one for a long time um, and i think it's come out really nicely so head over to bluetooth.com if you want to purchase this it does come with some additional bonuses as well so go and uh, check the page out um, and yeah thank you very much for listening and i'll catch you in the next one peace you ain't gonna come around here with a sad vibe man just pack up your bags and we was up we was up all night right with a function set when i turn my back you froze froze